<laughs> uh, hello, guys. Uh, uh, I'm going to show you all how to do a uh, weight transfer. I'm also going to show you how to put a, a shirt on a model properly. Because I like uh, tank tops. I'll, I'll use a tank top. So we're just going to grab Fade here. Uh, this is the person that this model came from. So that's the person that you always give credit to. Is the one that... If you get it in a folder, it's just best to ask somebody if you don't know who. But what we're going to do here is... We're going to uh, use Blender. After we do our scaling in here. And we're going to put this shirt on him and perfectly weight it to him and just so you uh, can see his uh, armatures are different names see like the control 1, control 2 to my model which is control, control 2 and then shoulder 2 control normally you would have to rename these but with the weight transfer you can do it yourself so first things first I'm gonna also show you how to set this up like this uh, now when it comes to scaling a model to another model uh, I always start it like a, like a number like let's say 8 or 9 and try 4 see that's about what you want now you want to scale it up as close as you can get it when it comes to shirts about right there now get rid of everything that we don't need the only thing we want to keep is the body and the shirt the reason we're keeping the body right now is we're using that to scale the arms up because see that's something most people don't understand about uh, models is where these armatures are they they correspond to the weight and vertices of where the model will move so it won't cause clipping so lock him in the place use both arms and just get it where you need it okay we got the arm where we want it copy it just these two is all we need all right now we don't need the body we can now get rid of it and we can see it or assess and see where we're at which that's pretty good we got it as you can see it's where we want it on him now what we're going to do now is we're going to save armatures modify visible Mark Bones is unused. Convert to PMG. We're just going to put top. Now you're bringing the model back in. We're going to clean the armatures. That should be 17 to 20. Okay. We're just going to bring it in one more time. The reason we're doing that is we're just saving it to the generic item mesh, Axie. Which I always tell people to do. Okay, we're pretty much ready. So here's what I would tell you to do is do this right here. Is just drop your model in with your folder with your top. You can rename these later. And for these that are like this, where you can't like see them, I'm going to show you how to make it where you can see them. Okay. Now let me turn this.
There it is. That's a good piece of music. That's what Final Fantasy XV was supposed to have been before they cut a lot of the content out of it, which is upsetting. All right, we're now going to uh, let me see where the timestamps at. So it's five minutes and twenty seconds in. Always turn that off. Let's bring our model in first. I've got to delete two things off him because I've got uh, his shirt set up where his shirt can come on and off. So I just I got to delete that real quick, and then after that. There's his shirt. I got one thing I gotta do real quick. Texture for my sword. Okay, we're deleting the armatures to it now. Let's look at the original armatures before we do all this. Okay. Now here's what you're going to do. We'll do it slow. Click on the shirt. Hold in shift. Click on the armatures. Control and P. Empty groups. This is necessary. If you do not do empty groups, this will not work. Now, click on this. Weight paint. Transfer weight. Go down. By name. There you go. As you can see, all the, the, the armatures have now been moved over here. We've got one thing we've got to fix real quick though. So we're going to go to remove the doubles. We can fix this real quick using proportional editing. GY. Okay. And as you can see, we don't have to add a modifier because it's already added the armature modifier. So you can pretty much export your model. sure I'm in the right folder. Always make sure that your textures are copied in here. If they're not, uh, they'll turn they'll be black because they can't read them because it's not reading from the the axis. Oh shit, I hit his body. Nope. Oh, that's right. That's my fault. I forgot to turn it on. I got it set to where it's all, it clicks on and off. There we go. If 
I could just do it in here too. There we go. Alright, let's test the shirt. And then after that we're gonna go back into paint weight and we're going to uh, we're gonna go to paint texture and we're gonna paint that shirt so we can get rid of that logo. I'm gonna show you how to do that too in this video. As you can see it's almost we'll use God Slayer Sword. Push off the new textures for it. You can do this pretty much with everything, pants, anything, just like I said, do the, the empty groups. Now let's check his mouth for mouth endivitis, which is a rare case that we have, still haven't found an answer for that causes mouths to lock together. Okay. That's Final Fantasy 13. Twelve minutes in. I'm sorry I've not been online, guys. I've it's been bad down this way. We're getting like minus five degree weather right now, and I got to go to work. Uh, not tomorrow, but I got I got to work Sunday, so that's gonna make probably more sicker. Uh, if you hit in and you go to texture solid, this is the key for uh, paint texturing. But first, we got to do is we've got to uh, sync this shirt up. Because if you went to uh, paint texture this without uh, it synced up, it won't work. So, GY, that's up and down. Which actually might be much easier because I got proportional editing on. There we go. You can zoom in and out like this. If you hold in the... If you hold in your mouse wheel, you can do that. Now, I go to save image. Now, that shows up uh, permanently now. If it, it, and now we're going to uh, do the same. Now we're going to use uh, paint texture, texture paint, it, or I, that right there. And pretty much what we're going to do here is we're going to. Uh, use the clone tool uh, hit alt and then click it we want the shirt one cut one solid color so it doesn't have any smears now when you're doing this back here we're gonna have to uh, turn off symmetrical down here because that's gonna mess that up You can hold the button down. I, I sometimes just click it. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn off symmetrical because now I want I want this to be my uh, main color. I'm actually hitting it too hard. The 
clone tool is very cool. Like I said, you can really, you can do a lot with this. You can make outfits. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, the the possibilities of what you can do with this uh, with this tool here is uh, awesome. There's so much stuff you can do, man. There's like all kinds of cool stuff. But that's what I wanted it to look like right there. I wanted to have that that dirty uh, fill in. Go back into uh, optional mode. Click on that and then image, save image. Now we've got the model loaded in here. Now watch. And then we'll save it. And there, bam. In just a few minutes, we've got a, a new shirt and everything. You can darken it, change whatever color you want. You can even use a, a fill tool to completely color this in like a different color. I mean, there's like endless possibilities you can do here. But yeah, that's weight transfer. Like I said, easy to do and simple. And you also got a little uh, uh, idea on how uh, paint texture works, which I'm going to do a, a big full video on that. I'm going to show you how I create like advanced costumes, like for the Tanami girls and stuff. And yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, save your model. I, I advise you just save your model into a new folder. New test model. Remember, you can also rename your textures. Just copy them. That's what I always do: is copy them and then rename them. I'll make one pose. I'll do one pose real quick, and I'll that'll be our screenshot for the for the video for the preview picture. Gotta do. go full all right that's our picture Uh, this is SSPD Fate signing out. Take it easy, guys.